Hello everyone. Welcome to my Instagram live and Gemma's as well. Say hello Gemma. Hello. Gemma's behind the camera and Abby's joined in as well. She's a media whore. Hello Abby. We are going to be, we don't do very many Instagram live kind of things before. We've done, you know, not two before, but we've got something quite exciting in here that we're going to be doing today because as you can see on the wall behind me, um, this is our, this is the room where the magic happens every Friday night when we record the podcast and we decided to clarify it. So um, we've been collecting a load of photos over the years, some that we've taken and some that we've um, we bought and stuff and we're we're decorating the wall and um, we can have a look at some of the ones that are up there already and then we've got a big pile of photos have a look at the big pile of photos down there Gemma feel that and we're gonna we're gonna put them up on the wall and talk about them and and you can see us you know making the making the room look all nice and corry so um Gemma should we have a look at the ones that we've got up there already so far Let's yes. have, a, have a look at this so we've been we've been experimenting with different methods of getting them up on the wall and um what are these things called Command strips. Command strips, that's it. And they're great, they're like that magic Velcro that you can use to put things up on the wall. But we didn't have enough for, for all of them. So we've got a few other little bits and bobs. And these things that are up there already are um, kind of permanent fixtures there. So these, are, these ones aren't coming down. But with these ones, the other ones, we can swap them out whenever we like. So Gemma, come and have a look. Let's have a look over here. You can come right up at the front and oh. see, see what we've got. I don't want to kick the cat. You don't want to kick the cat. Where are you looking at the moment? Let's have a look. Okay, so we'll have a look at this one first. So we just like you wanted to get a few like retro ones as well as photos that that we taken ourselves, didn't you? Yeah. Because. Because it's fun. Because it's fun. So <laughs> we wanted to make it like classy and everything as well, and not just a a, a monument to our travels and stuff. So we got this one here of Corrie Legends, Hilda and Annie, and that, that's like one of our favourite photos that we got out there, isn't it? Yeah, I like that one. Yes. They're looking perturbed about something. Well, well, no, Annie's looking perturbed. I think that these photos just kind of capture the characters very well because she was always kind of, yeah, she was, she was always often very perturbed and looking down her nose at people and kind of disapprovingly at people like Hilda, the lower classes. And I like that Hilda's got kind of a, a wistful, dreamy look on her face. And that was kind of one of the things about the Ogdens back in the 60s and 70s. They always had these lofty ambitions, didn't they? And um, I, th I think that that captures that quite well. So that one's like a nice, real nice, classy picture. This one just makes me laugh as well. Um, this was taken in Salford, wasn't it? Was it, was it Salford? Museum. Do you remember? I don't remember what museum it was, but it was a museum. It was a museum. Just a couple of years ago, they did a Coronation Street exhibit of old um, memorabilia and photos and magazine clippings and everything. It was like um, a Tony Warren. It was a Tony Warren and Coronation Street exhibition because you can see down by my elbow down here. There's a little picture of it, one of his books. But um, I think that was supposed to be a picture. Yeah, that was a picture of um, the the picture that you're posing in front of was of Tony Warren. What the, what the Where one... your face is. We just saw the headline, Coronation Street Ruin My Life, and I thought that, you know, at the time there, about seven or eight years into the podcast, and as much as I love it, it has taken over our lives a little bit. So I thought that'd be kind of funny. Um, we've also got um, this one down here. We got this one. So this is when Gemma and I went to have a, um, a round the set tour back in, oh, I'm going to say, I don't know, four or five years ago, maybe? Maybe right, not that, yeah. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, Connor McIntyre, who you remember played Pat Phelan, was um, also got enjoyed the podcast. And he very kindly invited us for a set round, uh, a tour around the set. So uh, we went there and then we got a few other pictures from set tours later as well. And uh, he, he gave us a tour all the way around and this was inside kind of the Cory office buildings. And when we met Sally Ann Matthews there that plays Jenny as well. And I was Sal. And um, yeah, took some nice photos. And we, we got a couple of other ones of some of the other cast there as well. But I don't think we got those in the collection to put up. Um, this one here is, this one's one of my favourite pictures that we've taken of Georgia Taylor, who's a, a big friend of the podcast. And um, this... It's really hard to get it on there. Is okay. it? This was taken at the British Soap Awards up in the Lowry, um, up in Manchester. That must have been like three years or so ago. So <laughs> we've, we've been and watched the Soap Awards in May for three or four times now. Um, this is maybe the, the only time that we've been up to the Manchester one. And um, they're these big 
railings there that all the fans were lined up against and we could see the cars coming along and everyone getting out of the cars going into the building some of them were coming in and signing autographs and everything and we were doing a mixture of photos and videos this is actually like a still from one of the videos that we took but, um, <laughs> I think you were filming this one weren't you I normally you were, do the filming yeah you were, you were pointing and this is when uh, Georgia <laughs> spotted that it was us and she was like, oh, hello. And then she kind of a, scurried over cool to say character. hello. Really, really love this picture. And this, this is permanently up. This is not coming down without tearing down the plaster. Or so we've got a question about have we ever met any of the Platts? Um, we've met Shona Platt. Yes, we've met. We? Yeah, we have. Yeah. We've, we've, we've met her in uh, a couple Goulding. of times in real, real life. Julia Goulding. Yes. Both times when she was just pregnant as well. So I think <laughs> it's not something. related. I don't think it's related. Um, yeah, maybe she, we're her good luck charm. Maybe, yeah. We went to the... Um, Went to the set once, just after she was got pregnant the first time with Franklin, and then again just recently at the Soap Awards. And um, we also met um, we met people who were at the set. We who, saw we um, Helen Worth. Oh yeah, we saw Helen Worth coming up the stairs, didn't yeah, we? The she's first like, time Hello. we went there. Yeah, Con- Connor went and, and left us at the top of the steps. Yeah, in the, yeah. In the, in the ITV Outside, building. that's where the PR. D- that's where the PR. Department yeah, because he had to go and get something from his dressing rooms, yeah. and then Helen Worth we came up the stairs, in. and we we're like, "Hello." Yeah, <laughs> that was cool, and. Um, Yes, I think. Oh, and I've I've met I've seen Jack P. Shepherd in real life at the same <laughs> as well. I had a little talk to him. And also, um, they want to know where we got the mural of the three ducks, and that was from Etsy. Yeah, I can't, I'm glad you remember that because I couldn't remember. But this is lovely, oh. isn't it? It's kind of like ceramic. I, I don't really want. We had it changed because they were um, actually the design was a um, had a wallpaper. Um, what's the word? Embossing on it. Was it? And yeah, um, we like wanted just a plain one because it went in. A, it was supposed to go in our bathroom in our old house. Yeah, this one's a bit worse for wear. This one's it's fallen, fallen down, down twice now. It's fallen down here just since yesterday, but so we've reapplied some really tough um, fixings now. And um, yeah, it's, its tails come off and its heads come off. But good old super glue, you can barely tell at all. We also have a question about have we ever met Millie? Millie Gibson. Yes, we have met Millie Gibson. She's lovely. We met her back in March. We went to see Sally Ann Matthews in the play she was doing at the, the Hope Mills Theatre. And uh, Millie was in the audience as well. So we had a, we shared a nice evening and a, and a drink with Millie as well. Really, really lovely person. Um, Can you remove the sticky strips without peeling the paint off the wall? I don't we know. We hope so. I don't, I, no comment. I don't want to try it. Um, right. This one's cool. Now, this was sent to us yep. by one of our listeners called Jay, um, who lives across the pond. And um, he, he painted a nice coro mural It's really cool. For us. It's, it's so cool. It's really, really one of my cool. favourite things. It's, yeah, it's, it's the only one. This is like unique. Yeah, everything. it is. So really, Although, really love Although maybe that. if you paid him, he might pay one for you. Maybe don't he know. would. I don't know. I don't we, do, know. we do have we some have, pictures with Julia. It's really important that we put that up. Which is a question that we just got maybe, but I don't think we've got any printed out. We haven't out. got any printed out, but we have got some uh, elsewhere on We're our Instagram feed and stuff. We're going to reveal some more pictures. we got loads of them. we got loads to come. We're going to be forever doing this. I know, I've got stuff to do. Right, Um, you wanted this one, didn't you, Gemma? I love this one. I love this one. Do you want to get a proper good look at this? This is um, obviously Bet. This was when uh, the Queen came to visit the set, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, around the time of the royal wedding, wasn't it? It was the early 80s. I think it was 1982. I don't know whether this was post divorce or not. I don't think so. If it was, it was really funny. (laughs) Yeah, she put these earrings on these. I mean, Bet was famous for her big hair and her big earrings and her big. Um, assets and uh, this was there uh, yeah she, she wanted to put Charles and Di uh, earrings on so yeah. I really love this picture uh, Bet is a real real Cory icon and we've uh, watched some of the early episodes of her just in recent years and I can tell why she's so beloved she's ace love her love her love her somebody she's wants to know do we have a picture of the quads we do not have a picture of the quads alas no not up there with my favourite characters but give them a few years you never know and how many times have we been on the official street tour Gosh, a four, five? We went maybe? to the old set twice. Yeah, to the old one at Key Street, we did twice because they did a, a normal one and then they did a Christmas one. And we have got a picture later of us on the Christmas one and one of the other one, actually. Um, and then we've been to the Media City one as the official. Oh, I think that's been twice as well. We're <laughs> right at the beginning, Gemma. You, you should um, have been doing you. We've got a question also, a very important question yes. from uh, somebody called Adam Bleas. I've never heard of her. Uh, what is Sally Ann Matthews like in real life? <laughs> Such a diva. <laughs> What's she like? She's lovely, Adam, please. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got a picture of you coming up trying soon as well. She's very, it's only Tony trying to stitch it up. She's very, very lovely. She is lovely. Life. She is um, lovely. Right. And so is Adam. Lo- Adam is lovely as well. He plays <laughs> Dirk on Coronation Street, if you're <laughs> yeah. listening. 
Go on, what's um, that then? Right, this is this is another real favourite of mine. This is a picture of Conor McIntyre, tape that we took at the Soap Awards um, up in London. Um, that was maybe four years ago. Um, two this times is when he ago that he was in villain. London. Yeah, he won, I think he won Best Will and a few others that year. And he was there in his um, very vibrant mustard suit. And um, yeah, he's he, very we just, cheese, well, very cool. When he arrived at the town hall in um, Hackney, and there was just huge crowds, and then we going, yeah, feeling, 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 and he just stood there on the uh, on the steps, soaking it all in, <laughs> and thank you. That's what he used to do, kind of thank you, thank you guys, thank you so much for coming, that kind of thing. And right in the top corner here, and sadly he's cut off, is Peter Gunn, who plays uh, Brian Packham, and he was there going, yay. And I think actually just off the um, the frame as well, there's um, Brian Capron, who played Richard Hillman, so oh, the full yeah. picture's quite cool. I think, did he it's... give him the award, or I can't maybe, remember? Maybe, I don't remember, but it's, yeah, it's like the, the transfer of power from one Corrie villain <laughs> to another. And what about this uh, little uh, porcelain? This is a little porcelain coronation string. <laughs> I don't know where I got this from. This is, like, by far the oldest thing on here. I uh -huh. had this since, like, I was a teenager. So this is about... Totally cool. About 25 years old or so now. And we had a space there when we were putting these up yesterday. And we thought, oh, I know what will fit in there. I hope it doesn't drop on our heads when we're recording a podcast. Yeah, because things have already fallen off and made marks. Yes, there was a mark down here. That the, Sad. Uh, the, 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 the other the marks were already there. It's, we've, we've, I've never had like a painted wall like this before. And it scuffs really easily. <laughs> it's not like wallpaper, which is pretty, pretty hardy stuff. Anyway, this looks pretty cool. Right, let's get on to these next pictures then. Let's do this one. So, this, uh, this is me and Gemma, look. Now, this was taken, gosh, I'm going to say like 2014, maybe. Um, this is the first time that we went on the official set tour and you could go into the Rovers uh, set and get your picture done there with the camera. Um, I just, you kind of got to have to do it, really. Can you get you can get photos outside the Rovers now, can't you? Yeah. On the official tour, but yeah, this this one. You this could was go inside in the old Rovers set because obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the old one in Key Street. So we've got another question. Will cool. we be covering Shona on the podcast? We always cover Shona on the podcast. If, if you're interested, is there a Shona fan in the chat? Per chance. If you're interested in um hearing yes, Julie Golding, she will be appearing on our. Julie Goulding will be appearing on our podcast in a couple of weeks on the Cast vs. Fans quiz. That's right. We, have, we haven't done a character know. profile of her, have we? She's one of the one of the current characters that we've never got around Shut to doing. But we box. will. We'll probably do it later this year. Right. Um, um, somebody called Mr. Alpar wants uh, to know I, Alpar. if we're going to have a framed photo of Alpar going up. But do we? No. have we even been sent one? We did not have a framed we photo of Alpar. We need a signed one. Is everyone admiring my... Yeah. This isn't just for Coronation Street nerdy things. Also Nintendo nerdy things are up here as well. <laughs> Love it, but we're not here to talk don't about you, those Do not today. ask how much money collecting these oh, has God. cost, because I don't want right, to. Right, next one. Who remembers this? If, it's, if you're not saying me, then phew, shame on you. This is George Banks, who plays Henry, and he was an awesome character that was in Coronation Street, what, four years ago, I'm going to say, uh, playing Henry Newton, who was um, the, the heir of the Newton and Ridley's fortunes, and um, he got into a bit of, a, a bit of bother with, uh, with old Gemma, didn't he? And um, he was a lovely character. He was very funny, very posh, and yeah. he, he also he listened, to the, listened to the podcast um, as well. And um, he's become a good friend of the podcast since as well. In fact, I was just texting him this morning, actually. He's doing all right. He's, he's going to be in a play. He's going to be in a play. Start so then for Windsor. murder at the Royal Windsor. If you want to go see, make sure that you sign up. Yes. But he is loveliest, loveliest Bring guy. back Henry. Everyone at Coronation Street who worked with him says... We need says, everybody need in the chat. need to bring him back and he's lovely. So Hashtag. Yeah, bring him back. Chap. Adam Blee says, yeah. Yes. Right. He's um, always right the somebody wants to know where, it, where are the Percy photos? I have no Percy photos. We do have a, a book. I've got, I've got, got a book you. <laughs> but yeah, alas, we have never met Bill Waddington. And no, I don't think <laughs> we haven't met him. Spoiler alert, it's Might not happen, happen. Right. Well, you know, you don't know. This very bright pink picture is of uh, me and Shadow oh, yeah. DeMello and Georgia Taylor at a Coronation Street, another cast versus cans, cans? fans quiz that took place five years ago, I think, up in Manchester. So um, we... That they had an event. It was um, to raise money for for I think it was for the, for Pride, wasn't it? For Manchester Pride. I wasn't there. You weren't there. You came to. A, you did one of them with me, didn't you? You didn't do this one with oh, me. No, I didn't. I've never done. You done it all by yourself. You're no, a modern woman. You've done one of them. No, I haven't. Anyway, this one was great because I was there on my own, and um, 
uh, and, and Georgia and Charlie ended up inviting me onto the, the cast team, which was lovely. I'm not actually on Coronation Street, but they said I could come in and be on the, be on it. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I came and helped them out with the Cory Fast fans question. So this is just a nice one of the three of us, both lovely people. Um, where does this one go? This one? This one up here, I think. See, I love these strips because you, it's really satisfying just clicking them in. Right, there we go. Um, okay, ah, another another vintage one here. Gemma, tell us about so Elsie Tanner. Hold them at an angle to you, like that. Yes. Okay. This is Elsie Tanner from the first ever episode, looking in the mirror, What's the thinking quote? that she looks like a sack of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the. <laughs> Maybe that was on she the original says, draft of the script. ELC, don't you look like a sack of crap like that? It was really poetic and everybody loved it. Uh, almost there. Fit Nancy wants Mac to know if we've got the book that Lynn Perry wrote. We haven't got that yet. No, we haven't got Lynn Perry's autobiography. And also, uh, John G reckons that you can do DIY. I can't. I really, really can't do DIY. This is the closest you'll get. We had to pay a man to put this up. Right? Yeah, I didn't put this shelf up. No way. Well, I think it's more that you putting Velcro strips on the wall is pretty... Yeah, that was, that was, but Gemma helped me. I use a spirit level and everything. Have we ever met Ken Barlow and is he like a granddad in real life? No, and probably yes. We don't know. Anyway, she's another proper Cory icon. Absolutely love her. She's, uh, she soon fast became one of your favourite characters, didn't she? When we were, How could uh, you not love her? When we were watching that. But we've got a couple more of her in because she's just awesome and very vintage. -y. How old is she? She's like 37 in that picture or something, isn't she? Yeah, something like that. But she she gets she 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 ages backwards as the um, episodes progress for an amount of time, and then she starts going forward again. Um, okay, here's here's me and Gemma at the um, Coronation Street Christmas tour. So this was in the old Key Street set before they moved to Media City, 2014, 13. I can't remember. I lost track. And this was quite cool because when you used to go on this tour, they'd um, take you in through some of the inside sets first. Yeah, just happy looking at them. And um, then you'd, you'd go into like, the inside of the bistro and then they'd open the bistro doors and you'd step out onto the street in front of you, which was really cool. And for these Christmas ones, they had like some fake snow that was going was really blown cool. over the top of the viaduct. I think when you came out through that door, which is the bistro door behind mm. us there, and they played the Crown Asher Street theme tune oh, yeah. and they blew... Um, snow at you it was like it being is, it is very nice nice and Christmassy. Christmas you've got, like, you got little christmas earrings wearing, on there as well yeah you? i am wearing the sparkly like the sort gold of stars. little um what are they called thing that you put on top of a parcel at christmas a bow little wow. christmas bows um where does I'm that gonna, go then i think that one goes up here god my hands are getting really sweaty <laughs> um, i got i'm a bit sweaty myself it's all right oh uh-oh uh-oh the eye wide fail <laughs> sorry Everybody is being very complimentary about our decor and our Thanks. podcast room. Thank you very well, much. I'm hoping it's going to make it a little bit echoey as well. Less <laughs> echoey. Since we've moved in here, it has been a bit echoey on the podcast. And I think it's because of all these bare walls. This here, this sofa here, what's the name of it? Vintage something or other, the colour. And we only got it because it was the only one available. But it's from made.com. Yeah, we, had to, wait. we, we would would have to wait like three months. We wouldn't normally have to pick this colour, but it, it ends up going it with the wall. It nicely with the blue wall, doesn't and it? And it makes us look like we're stylish, but we're not really. Right. If you recognise this picture, then maybe you work at Coronation Street. Or you've seen it. <laughs> or maybe you've seen it, but they've got an absolutely giant version of this. If you go into the ITV Corrie buildings and you've got a, there's a reception desk in front of you, stairs just behind that and there's a huge one of these stretching up the stairs and it's obviously a very famous picture of Ina Sharples played by Violet Carson um, up on the looking over the, the streets of Salford and it kind of really represents the, the grit and grimness of uh, of early Coronation Street doesn't it it's just well, well it was it was supposed to symbolize the um the changing face of of, of Manchester and Salford and yeah uh, showing how she was Supposed to move into a flat, wasn't she? And yeah, she yeah. In this, in the, in the show, she, um, Ina was. Being... And he's getting very dangerously close to me hitting her or standing. He still doesn't have his tail yesterday. Yes, I did. Um, yeah, there was a story in the early sixties where Ina was trying to be kicked out of Coronation oh, Street and um, moved into one of these flats. So I can't remember who, which characters it was that Spoiler took alert, her there. She didn't, no. move. she didn't move. She didn't like it. 
Um, and she was she, like, "This isn't the beach. I want to go to London St Anne's." <laughs> and this, yeah, this bit, this was taken there, and uh, I wish I only found out recently. I, I, I kind of assumed this was like a little photo shoot for you know, yeah, like okay, nineteen sixty three women's <laughs> women's choice. Yeah, hair nets monthly or something. I don't know. No, but this this was actually taken on the on the episode shoot. So very nice, very very gritty. Al's got a good memory of when he went on the Granada tour. The tour guide opened the door of the bistro and hit a woman who was posing outside for a photo, which is very. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Anyway, you know, you can grump off up there. Right, next up, uh, what should we do now? Let's do this one. This is a very special one, isn't it? This is very special. So, um, in um, a couple of years ago, when Coronation Street um, celebrated its 50th anniversary, the Royal Mail made some stamps. I'm sure some of you remember these at the time, little mini things that you could stick on your letters. Or, if you uh, wanted to, you could buy giant massive ones like this one. And there was a set of... Show the back. Ten. So you want to see the back? Oh yeah, oh, yeah because look. you get there's a little stamp on there, and this, it tells here's you. Here's your stamp, and this is number thirty. Brilliant. Of, pretty good. And five hundred million. Hundred and fifty. Yeah, it's pretty. Hundred and fifty. Um, so it's fairly limited edition. Yeah. But I'm sure there's some um, some people who are viewing there. This used there, to be in our kitchen, but we've moved it because it was always supposed to go on the wall. On of our yeah. house. Now we've got Absolutely two of love these, Stan and we? Hilda. We have. We'll come back to the next one later. Where are you going to put this one? I was going to go up in the corner up there. Okay. Absolutely love Stan and Hilda. And this this woman, Amazing Stanley quote. woman cloak quote. Uh, the picture wasn't from that episode, but this is from when they went on a second honeymoon. And it was all lovely and dramatic, and that's like one of my favourite episodes ever. Now, for the show, the Platt fans in the house, can you tell us, tell them what we think of her character? Shona, I think she's great. I love Shona. I've always been a, f- a fan of Shona. I didn't like her so much after she came back after being shot in a box because I thought they made her a bit too infantile, but they've um, they've eased off that a little bit now, haven't they? But she's great with David. Do you like Shona? Is that a you, I love her, and I think she's particularly good at the moment. She is very good at the moment. Julia Goulden's going to be having a baby soon, so I don't, I don't think she's going to be in Coronation Street for much longer, but I hope she's going to be back fairly soon. Right, Um. what should we do now? Should we do... Ah, oh, let's do this one. No, do we don't... like Kylie Platt? Yes, but she's dead. I didn't like Kylie as much. And that's a bit sacrilege, isn't it? But I, um... She, she was fine. She was fine. But I preferred um David with Tina. And, and what happens Shona. when you run out of space on the wall? Well, you'll find out because we will. Um, right, <laughs> another one of Elsie. And uh, Dennis Tanner. Played. I love this picture. This is such a cool picture. This is one of my favourites up there. So that's Philip Lowry, who came back into the programme after about a 50-year gap or something, didn't he? And, uh... 2012, 13 or, or so. No, Thank you for all these questions, that. by the way, Ali. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice mother and son picture, like picture. And they had a really lovely relationship. And you relationship can see the difference the... in how, in how um, Pat Phoenix looks in that picture compared to when she, in the first, um, she definitely blossomed being on yes. Coronation Street. She definitely enjoyed, she, she seemed to enjoy being um, Elsie Tanner. <laughs> De- Dennis Tanner was an, a real revelation If you have never us. seen old episodes old of Coronation Old Dennis Street, Tanner or young Dennis Tanner. You need to watch. Absolutely he hilarious. He was one of the best characters. So, so, so funny. Um, they are going to go up here, I believe. Let's stick it on. There we go. Whew. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Is he still here? <laughs> are you still here, Adam? Right, so here is another one of Sally Ann Matthews. Now she was one of the first, I think she was the first Corrie actor who kind of got in touch with us after the podcast launched, wasn't she? To yeah. say, oh, I listen to it, I enjoy the podcast. Um, and she's been a good friend of the, of the show ever since. Oh yeah, Adam's still here. And here's Adam <laughs> playing Dirk. You might recognise it. He hasn't got his clipboard with him now and I don't think he's it's ever sported tell. shades. Yeah. He's cool enough on the show. His clipboard is his accessory in the programme. But there he is, another and really lovely guy. Style. Friends with Sal. And beautiful Michael. Beautiful me. Not, beautiful Adam. Was this what a, a pair of beauty. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, this, yeah, this is a selfie. This, this, this is Adam's we picture. Didn't, actually, we should have paid Adam to print this out. <laughs> but did you hear about that court case about... Um, not that I'm comparing Adam, please, to a monkey. <laughs> but did you hear about that court case where there was a um, a photographer and he was filming um, a monkey in the wild and it took its own oh, yes. photo? Who's got and the there rights? was a court case that went through quite a lot of... Um, the litigation yeah. about who owned the copyright was it the monkey or the man who well, owned the the picture? We didn't ask Adam Bleasy's now permission Adam's to print this Now Adam's demanding royalties. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I can't it's such a beautiful picture. How could we? Have I, this is, this a is fun a, honestly one of this my favourite pictures. We just gone to um, have. Um, a coffee with them. It was on yeah. another trip to Manchester five six years ago. We had a coffee with them and had a lovely summary photo taken. Such a great go. coffee shop too, isn't it? Oh, yes. 
Yeah. Not to everybody's taste. Um, Adam's remembering and, and saying, wasn't there another picture from that day where I'm creased over laughing? There is. We haven't got that one. We haven't printed That's everything. That's another brilliant picture We've got picture so many lovely pictures, but only a few. To, we have to be selective. A few spaces. Right. We we're gonna, I think we're going to have to go on this wall as well at some point. We might go on the white wall. Right. Here's Gemma and I in the ginnel. Yeah. I'm um, getting up to all kinds of mischief probably on the old set tour. This must have been on the Key Street set as well. Um, yes, it was. Because I recognise your lovely and yellow I'm coat. I'm wearing a um, leopard print t-shirt from Hobbs. Oh yeah. In um, tribute, in tribute to, to Bat Lynch. In tribute to Bat. So this is really cool. Um, yeah. That's just us really. There's not much to say about just that. Just us. That's Gemma. She does the podcast with me. I She's do. A lovely Don't voice. know that anymore. You don't look like this anymore. You're not wearing sunglasses anymore. I can't no, remember. I'm not oh, cool I've anymore. Tra- I've been trying to remember where these go. Just going to have a little chat. Just film the cat or something while I check where this one's going. Are you still alive? Yeah, she's it's all right. A bit hot. Okay, I thought so. Right, this, one, <laughs> this one goes up here, underneath the ducks. Oh, good. Click as long as we've got that. There we go, lovely. Um, we I want to... to know how you're remembering. Oh, yeah, Chloe's just worked out how you're remembering. Where they all go. He's got a little cheat sheet. No, I'm doing pretty well without it. Yes. I do have a cheat sheet on the iPad, but that had gone off recently. <laughs> so I'm doing nice. it from memory there. Right, okay. Let's do... Should we do this stamp? No, let's... Yeah. Okay. Stamp number two. So here's Elsie Tanner, Ina Sharples again, uh, on one of their confrontations that they had on the street back in the early 60s. I can't remember which one this was. There were two episodes, weren't there, where they had an IG barge Yeah. Yeah, there was one in like in late 61, I'm going to say, and then one a, a few years later than that. I, I should know this, but I don't. Um, but yeah, they, they were... They, they were, had to change the set, didn't they? They were the Gail and Eileen um, at, at each other's throats Are Gail the and 60s. Eileen the modern Ina and, and Elsie? Maybe they are. Say? Maybe they are. But um, yeah, brilliant episode this one. What's the this is this is number twenty look of one hundred and fifty. So I don't know how we managed to get Even. such good numbers. We were thirty and a. We just as soon as they came online, it was like we've got to buy those. And then, but which ones did we buy? Right, this one is going here. Sometimes it's how far apart space the um the strips are as well that helps us to helps you helps me to remember which ones were. Some of these need a real dusting already. <laughs> Ali wants to know how is the sofa comfortable. The sofa is all right. I mean, the problem is you can't lean back on it very well. So when we do the podcast, I sit here and Gemma sits there. Yep. And we have the, the laptop sitting on a chair here and we have to be craned forward. And so sometimes I'll be, oh, you'll kind of hear me do this or all oh, this kind of thing to try and get in a better position. Uh, but it's all right. And it folds out to a sofa bed it's as a sofa well. sofa bed, yeah. We have, nobody's used it as a sofa bed yet, apart from the cat. Okay, um, next one. Ah, oh, yeah, here's somebody we have not seen yet. It is Jenny McAlpine. Beautiful Jenny. Beautiful Jenny McAlpine plays Fizz. Um, this was taken on one of our first ever trips to Manchester. Um, 2014, maybe, I'm going to say, 15, possibly, when we went to her um, tea shop, tea rooms? Annie's. Annie's, um, which is by Fashion St Mary's Fashion Square in, in Manchester that she runs with her husband, Chris, and um, the, I th- she must have been like the first Corrie celeb that we met after we started the podcast. And we, we if you listen to episode 90, I'm going to say, of the podcast, you can hear us talking about all our trip there. And there was a bit where we were sitting in the car about to go into this restaurant going, oh, I wonder if we'll see Jenna McAlpine. Some yeah. people say that she's sometimes there. And she was. She came out and said hello to us. And she was lovely. Very, very nice. Um, you said she smelled nice, didn't you, Gemma? She, she, was, she, fragrant. she was very fragrant. And um, yeah, so she, she has been fat, but we've been back to Annie's a few times since and not seen her there, but maybe that will change sometime. I don't know. But she's the nicest, 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 smiliest, loveliest person, isn't she? Oh, she's lovely. Some people... Look we, at how beautiful I, she is. I, I think it partly fuels one of the reasons why I like Fizz so much, because sometimes Fizz I can know. be a bit of a nightmare. But, um, but we do love... Jenny is yeah, fab. She's, she is a really, really nice really person. Really, really lovely down-to-earth person. So we get some more questions. One question, oh. Nancy wants to know, is this where we do the podcast? Yes, it is. Yes. So we both sit there. Michael sits this side. I sit this side. Um, do we prefer Tyrone and Alina or Fizz and Phil or Tyrone and Fizz? So I prefer, you prefer Fizz Phil and, Phil, don't and you? Fizz because I like Phil. Oh, I like Tyrone well. is a dog. I love Tyrone and Fizz. I just, <sighs> I just like that they've been together for so long, which is such a rarity in Coronation Street these days. And they're a nice kind of relatable couple that's the same age as us. 
Um, and Ali um, right, wants to know, well, she's she's in awe of how you're managing to get them all straight, but you just put that one up wonky, so we won't talk about oh, this that. This is a bit wonky, isn't it? Um, and who else have we got? John loves the frames and thinks that it uh, looks very cool, like a 90s talk show vibe. And Adam Lees wants to know, when did Michael first become a fan of the show and what is the earliest memories of the programme? Good question. Well. And who originally started watching Cory first? Me. Says. Was it you or was it me? And then I stopped uh, watching it. I, I, st I, I was watching it in about 1993, 1994, I think, because my mum and dad used to watch it. And I was, you know, I just was in the room when it was on. I didn't watch all the episodes. And then I got really into it and nerdily into it. And I think that put them off it. And then they stopped watching it. <laughs> so What's your earliest memory? I always say it's the, it's the Deirdre Samir story, I think is probably the earliest I remember, which I reckon was 1994. So I, I definitely, definitely remember Samir dying and I was watching it before then as well. So it's about then. And then I got Gemma into it after I met her. Made me. In, in 2001 at university <laughs> and she had no choice. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, let's do this one. Oh, here's another the biggest celebrity on the list. Vin yeah, Diesel Vin the Diesel Weasel. Vin Diesel the Weasel, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, love it. Um, so this was taken from another set tour that we did four years ago three years ago when Charlie DeMello um, very kindly invited to give us a tour around the sets and we saw we saw inside this was um this was, must have been just after the Victoria Street extension was opened and um we went so we went inside here and, and various houses and stuff and it was very swish and lovely and um Vin Diesel's just kind of funny and I like how he's he's there Bearing, away. <laughs> bearing his teeth yeah. at all of the customers um, but he was very naughty a few weeks ago because he scared Audrey and made her pull a motorbike on top of her. So naughty. Hope he uh, hope he pays for that. So we've got um, somebody saying Danikin thirty saying we need more cushions for the sofa to help our backs, which I agree with. Yes. I suggest that we could have Cory people pictures of Cory people or red brick style cushions. <laughs> we've also got Hill who's saying that she likes it because they it's like she's come around to surprise us for tea. Yeah. I don't know what, what we're having today. What are we having for dinner? Well, we can today? have lamb koftas and salad. Oh, or maybe some cheese. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know. It's I quite know. hot today. It is very hot today. I'm very sorry. Um, I've got a question for you guys. Now, on um, this wall, there are three people who have never been in Coronation Street. And I want to know if you can guess who they are by the end of You can the... see the faces of three people. You can we're see not the talking faces. about any of these people on the, on the steps with Connor up there. Nope. Three people here right. who've not been in Coronation Street. Just because I'm sure he's desperate, is Adam Yay! Bleece again. He is dirty. This was from a That's time... A nice picture. This is a lovely picture. He's probably put he's a filter on it or something. Oh, right, yeah. But... Like your face. <laughs> this was a time that I went up to Manchester without you. I don't know where it was. It was in a summer holidays a few years ago. And that must have been at the same time as I did that Coronation Street quiz and I was on the team with Georgia and Charlie and the others. Um, and I had a coffee with Adam, and so this was, um, yeah, Media City, so just kind of along here a little bit is where the Coronation Street set is. And we got a nice shot with the water. Lovely. Yeah, quite a lot of people are guessing that we have not appeared in Coronation Street, appeared. which is correct. Yet, yet. There's one more. There's one more person here, and they're already on the wall. I wonder if you can spot them. Who is it? Who's not been in Corey? Well, I could I maybe thought of another one that I could count as well, actually. Well, we'll talk yeah. about it at the end. Talk about it at the end. Right. That you go, don't And it's not Abby because she's not in a picture on the wall. No. Right. Another one of Georgia Taylor here. We ha Adam we wants us to come back. We, we are gonna come back. back. We are gonna come back in Manchester very soon. Um Oh jo somebody's got it, but we'll have to wait. They they've got they're on the right track, but there are three people in total. Well, we've said that me and you are two of them, so there's yeah. only one, really. Right, Georgia Taylor, as I said, lovely, lovely, lovely lady. She's such a super she, she, um, I met her the first time. This is such yeah, a nice maybe you weren't there, them. actually. So the first time I was at Manchester for a Cast versus Fans quiz, um, she was on the cast table, and then there was a little break halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went up to her. I was, I was very brave, and I went up to say hello to some of the cast members, and, and she was there, and Hayley to Madden, and Sue Cleaver were there as well. And I got chatting with Georgia, and I was saying, oh, sorry, we always bang on about 
you no, we saw, sorry we always complain about Toya on the podcast and criticise you for banging on about babies all the time. And she said, Gemma. Oh, don't write it, love. She says, don't write the lines, love. Yeah, she's and right. And then our friendship just kind of went from there, we like, really. We like you. You're sassy. We do like Thank Georgia you. Taylor. And this was taken just a couple of months ago so at the British so Soap beautiful. Awards in London. Doesn't she? And there she her? is in a lovely green dress. She's going to go up here. Now, I think item. Chloe's got it. Chloe Marie, 31. Oh, well done. Yeah, you're right. That is the person. The three of us. That's the only thing I'm... Are you going to say it was? Or are you going to say it was Princess Diana. Princess Diana has not because been in Coronation Street. Because Prince no. Charles was in Coronation Street and he's got his own entry on Coropedia. He has. He's on the 40th anniversary edition, wasn't he? Right, we've got three left. We're nearly at the end, everybody. Well, John wants to know which actor or actress in the past would you most like to interview? Good oh, question. I don't know. Uh, I'd love to be, I wish you could have interviewed Pat Phoenix. I know. I because mean, she's so amazing. I, but I think are they still be people that I her. could. I'd, 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 I would like to interview um, Julie Goodyear. Yeah. <laughs> and she's yeah. still, you know, she's still, uh, she's still, still around. She's still around. I don't think she's doing that kind of thing anymore. Clark1995 Clark wants to know have you ever bumped around any into any of the cast walking around Media City? Yes. Yes. You like- can do that. It's you can do that. We Maybe I, be more, more cautious now because of COVID. So we've bumped into uh, Melanie Hill, who played Kathy, she, who recently left the show. We, she was just walking across the bridge and we said hello to her, didn't we? She's great. And we also saw Connor McIntyre. I think that was the yeah. first time that we bumped into him was in Media City. I've seen um, Jimmy Harkish in there, who plays <gasps> Dev, although I didn't say hello to him, although I would now because he's it's awesome. Um, we've met... I hope he wants to know what I'm doing. I've bumped into Shelley King. Um, going over the oh, bridge in Media great. City. Yeah. She's lovely. Quite a lot of people. We, we saw... Did, I wanted to have a picture uh, of Shelley, Mallard. but I haven't got one for some reason. Did we see Rob Mallard? Yeah. He this just way. kind of like hustled past. Well, you can go and wait outside the set, can't you? And see yeah. people coming and going. I'm just thinking about more oh, right, inside. Because okay. we saw Rila Lenska coming out the set before we she'd did. been announced that she came back and she was amazing. Yeah. And in the centre of Manchester, we saw um, Greg Wood, who played Rick Nealon. And this was after Gary had killed him as well. So we had a little conspiracy <laughs> thing there. But him not really being dead, but I Adam Bleeds would like you to interview Jill Summers. I would like, I thought you'd say that, Adam. <sighs> I would okay. love to interview Jill Summers. But I don't think that is possible anymore. Um, right, this one just makes me laugh. So Now, this would have been a better exit, do you reckon, for Imran? Yeah, maybe. It would have been a bit more conclusive about what happened. And, and um, yeah, I don't think Are I could have talked my way out of this Are we going to need to have an to see what happened to him after so, being nutted with a plastic uh, spanner? It's, it, this is, so this is a foam wrench that's been used a couple of times on Coronation Street, I think, for offing some of the characters. Um, I think they used this when um, Katie killed uh, her dad, Tommy, Tommy Harris. And definitely when Kylie clocked Callum round the head in a live episode, this is the, the tool that she used. And there's, um, if you go to the prop store in Coronation Street, which we, we kindly, uh, we, well, we, Charlie kindly gave us uh, a tour around when we went to there a few years ago, there was a, like a glass cabinet full of weapons, wasn't there? So there's like a gun in there and a crowbar in there and I'm making up and that's that kind of thing and um it's like and, a display cabinet full of weapons yeah and one of the um one of the guys working at the prop store took it out and we posed for this photo so I just thought it was kind of funny whacking Charlie on the head with I'm not so funny now now though is it that Imran's dead how dare you monster it's not funny poor Charlie no. poor Imran um, um Ali wants to know how many pictures there are there. there are two left you you count yeah i don't, I don't know how many 26 can. if you say or 27 there are in total or 27 I don't know. things maybe somebody can tell us you can, you, guys, yeah. you can count this one i'm waffling on um so there's two more there is two more this is another one that was taken from the british soap awards uh, a couple of months oh, ago yeah, this is very sally recent. carmen she's not been up there recently plays abby another favorite character at the moment beautiful um, newlywed sally carmen yes she wasn't newlywed there and this is not a wedding photo either. she didn't marry me she married no. joe teen who plays tim um yeah so she did she had a jumpsuit on didn't she she, she was looking very snazzy she was very very lazy um Interviewed on the podcast once. She's very lovely. Um, Look how smiley she is. She's so I, I, I don't know whether she's ever listened to the podcast. I'm really not sure, but she's very, very That's nice. Okay. And um, mm. we, we've. We know Jotin, do, Joe Jotin doesn't listen. He just definitely doesn't he, listen, no. Yeah, he doesn't like the internet. He doesn't know. That's but no, she, she's probably. lovely and um, she's, yeah. What's your we favourite year? We've messages a few times. Of Coronation Street. Favourite year? Yes, Michael. I don't know. 
Since the podcast started, 2017, I can tell you that one, because that was when they had um, who pushed Ken down the stairs and there was like, all the Pat Phelan stuff was going yep. on. Yep. That was great. But I couldn't tell you from the first 60 years. And who are your top 10 favourite characters? Who's you asking are still these in the questions? Show? <laughs> that was Dead123 was favourite year of Corey and <laughs> McLeod Alley was what is your favourite. I don't know what my top 10 characters are that are still on the show, but Jenny's up there, Toya's up there. Who's... Oh, yeah, Jenny. Who's Jenny. I thought you were saying Jenny McAlpine. Oh, no, 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 no. Who else do I like? <laughs> I'm sure that's Putting you on the spot. <laughs> I, like, I like Fizz. I like, I like Daisy now. I didn't used to like Daisy so Daisy's much. Daisy's great. David Platt, obviously David. a proper legend He's of the king. show. Craig Marie wants to know if you could live in any house on the show, what would it be? Which would it be? Uh, Nazir's, I think we've said before, haven't we? Yeah, but the Bailey's has got quite stylish. Bailey's is looking nice yeah. now. I like also, the honeycomb design. Also, well. if we lived in Sally and Tim's house, it'd have a hot tub come with it. And I quite yes. fancy that. And it's got a lovely new duck egg front door. Yeah. So, one of those. Right, last one. Ugh. <coughs> then we're going to go what about me. Gemma and Chesney's house because I bet no. you can add a bit of value to that I would not be living in number 5 <laughs> Coronation Street right here's another last one me and Sally Ann Matthews lovely lovely lady this was taken at the British Soap Awards four or five years ago um, I, I think looking at some of these photos I do have more than one formal shirt no sorry informal shirt but it looks like I just wear this one <laughs> to any time I ever go anywhere slightly, slightly where I need to dress up because mostly I just have T-shirts. Anyway, um, yeah, so she's lovely. Giving us a hug. Hugging her she's back. Lovely. Very, she's very be- nice. She's beautiful. She's done an awful lot and to I like the her. podcast and promote the show. So yeah. thank you, Sam. And she always um, knows how to dress up for the awards and she, she's got a very good yes. old Hollywood glamour. Classic. Right. Have nice. we met Barbara Knox? No. We have not met Barbara I don't even think I've seen her scurrying away from me. No, we've seen a couple of cast members scurrying away from us. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say who, but we've had a few. Yeah. Um, anyway, so... Okay, there's our go. wall. Oh, you might have, have you seen our little coronation? Gemma got me this for Christmas. I it's did. Nice, isn't it? Nice yeah. little Christmas roses. Right, um, so I think we're going to go now. Anyway, that's just in case people want to see just how much the nerdiness extends around this room. Do you want to just show a show quick... Um, well, not the cat. Got an nerdy old cat there. She she likes watching blockbuster, nerd. And this is Michael's. This is just my yeah. This is probably my nerd room. So we just decorated this room about four, <laughs> three, four months ago. And this is my Nintendo side, and that's my Coronation Street side. So when we record the podcast every week, we sit here and look at Nintendo things. But now, hope, hopefully the idea is, if, if and when we do any more interviews with cast members, we'll be able to be, have me sitting on the sofa here and there'll be lovely Corrie backgrounds. Um, but that's it, really. It's nice, isn't it? I'm really yeah. pleased with how it's turned out. So um, thank you, everybody, for thank coming along. Thank you for along. joining us. Thank everybody. you very much. And for all your questions and comments, it's been lovely. Yes. I would do these more Hi, often, but we haven't really got anything Smith. to do it about. Thank but you, we did this time. So we have... Yeah. Um, so oh, say goodbye to Abby. Soup. Abby wants to say hello. Yeah, she wants cat soup. Yeah, cat soup. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you. We will put this on on YouTube. As we will. Well, yes, so definitely. you can watch it there. Watch it again and again and again. Bye bye. Ta-ra.